Hey guys, it's Lisa from tocreatorwebsite.com. And today I'm going to show you how to host your own Google custom search results on your WordPress website. As many of you know, the default search for WordPress is horrid. And yes, there are plugins out there that'll make it better. But to me, there's nothing better than Google's search engine in terms of how accurate it is and how um, relevant it is. So I think it's better to use that. Even if you're not an AdSense member and can't make money from the ads, it's just a better engine. So I'm going to show you how to incorporate the engine into WordPress. And it's kind of tricky. So I tried to break down these steps as simple as I could. So I hope you enjoy. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need to do is create a blank page for your search results. And there are many ways to do this. You can do this by going to the WordPress codex site and they will give you the code to create a blank page. But I found that a little bit difficult because I wanted to add my headers and sidebars and everything. So this is an easier way for me to do it. Just understand there are many ways to do this. So what you're going to do is open up a blank page in WordPress, not a post. You want a page. So go over to pages and say, add new. And you're going to give your page a title. So we're going to call it search or whatever you want to call it. And now let's just put some placeholder text here and you'll see why later. This is for search. Okay. And now here's the important part. Most themes these days, when you create a new page, will give you templates to choose from. So you're looking for a blank template. For this theme, I'm using Woo themes, the headlines theme. There are several templates, but for me, the full width template is my blank template. Now yours might say no sidebars or something like that. You'll have to play around with it until you find something. Now, if you don't have a blank template here, then you, then you are going to have to go to the WordPress codex site and follow their instructions for creating a blank template. Now, so let's go ahead and publish this page. Okay. So this is the page. So now you can see, I have a blank page. And my Google search results are going to go right here. Now we've got a little problem here. I don't want this admin bar to show. And it's not just showing because I'm logged in. It's actually hard coded into this page. So what I'm going to do is right click. Now stay with me guys. It's, this is not hard. We're going to say view page source. And I'm going to copy this entire page and paste it into notepad. Okay. So now let's do a search for. WP admin bar. And you can see this code right here where it says div ID equals WP admin bar. We're just going to remove all of this down to the closing div. Now this is the page we want. So now what you want to do is save this as, because remember we're in notepad. So we're going to save as, and you can call it whatever you want. I would call it, um, search page or search.php, whatever, but make sure you name it as a PHP file. Don't name it HTML or anything else. So save it. And now we're going to upload this page to our web host. Okay. So here I am inside my FTP program. I'm using fire FTP. And if you don't know how to use an FTP program, you can Google it or YouTube it. There's tons of videos on there, how to, how to use it. And uh, you can also upload this file through your web hosting control panel either way. So I am going to do this through fire FTP. So I'm going to select the file and then I'm going to use this arrow here to upload it to my site. Now you can choose what folder you want to upload it to right now for this example, I'm just going to upload it to my root. So the path of the page is going to be, you know, your domain.com slash whatever the name of the page is dot PHP. So you can upload it to wherever you want to. So you're going to upload that file and now your results page is ready to go. So I just wanted to show you the results before we continue. See, notice that the admin bar is now gone from the, the top of the site. So the blank page is now ready for Google. Now you're going to go over to google.com slash CSE to create your new Google custom search engine. So let's click new search engine. And you're going to give it a name. Blah, 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 blah. And then right here, you put the name of the site that you want to search and you can actually put multiple sites here. So we're just going to say your domain.com. 
and you're going to use the standard edition and then you're going to agree to the terms and say next. Right now we're just going to choose the default and then say next. Now this is the code that you're going to paste in that blank page we just created, but there's one problem. Where's the code for the search box? Well, for some strange reason, you have to actually go back to the look and feel and then choose the two page results if you need the, the code for the box. And then save and get code. And now they give you two sets of code. So this is the code that you're going to paste, let's say in your text widget for WordPress, to bring up the search box. If you want the search box to be on your sidebar or if it's going to be in your header, then this is the code that you would paste in your header. And this is the code that you're going to paste in that blank page that we created, the search results page, okay? Now up at the top, this is where you're going to put the URL of the search results page that we just created. So you're gonna say, you know, www.yourdomain.com slash search page or whatever you named it, .php. So Google knows where the search page is. Okay now, so let's take the code that goes on the search results page and copy it, control C. And remember I had that little placeholder that said this is for search in the body? Let me show you. Right here. This is where we're going to paste the code that Google gave us. And here it is. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it there. Now I can re-upload that page again. And so now this page is ready to go. So finally, the last thing that you'll need to do is to grab the search box code and copy it. And let's say you were going to put the search box on your left nav. You can use a widget for WordPress. Now there's two more things I wanted to mention. First, when you go to the look and feel, I kind of breeze through this. Don't forget to customize the look and feel of your search so your links and everything match the links for your site. So you can change the results page links, what the Google ads look like and all that. So make sure you do that. And finally, you definitely want to make sure your search engine is linked to your Google AdSense account if you have a Google AdSense account. So don't assume this is going to do this automatically. You need to go to make money and then follow the instructions for you know setting it up and linking it to your AdSense account. Now when you go back to the basics area in the control panel, you need to make sure that this unique ID that is generated also matches the ID in your search code. I know that sounds confusing, but <laughs> I'm telling you, they couldn't have made this any more difficult. So you want to make sure that this code is actually in your search box, that code right there. It should say something like CX value equals whatever. That should match whatever is here after you have synced your AdSense account to your custom search box. I know it's convoluted and crazy. That's why a lot of people don't mess with this because it's very, very confusing. So I hope this helped you guys. It's really worth doing this, especially if you are in the AdSense program. And even if you're not, Google Custom Search is a much better search engine than the WordPress default engine anyway. So now when somebody searches your site, they will get your results on a local custom page that's hosted on your site and your Google ads will show and it looks much better than hosting your results on Google site. So I hope that was helpful. You guys let me know if you have any questions. I know this is a uh, sort of a convoluted process. If anybody has tips and suggestions and things that you found that have made this easier, then let me know. But this is the way that has worked best for me. So I hope you guys found this helpful. If you enjoyed it, please share it, like it, do whatever. And uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.